Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take we created the Oxonos 12 stable C04 update review for the OnePlus 9RT few days back you can check that from the iCard i am using it from the last 4 or 5 days and i promise you to give the battery and the performance review of this update but suddenly on yesterday OnePlus again released a new Oxonos 12.1 C05 build update which is just 40 MB in the size and with the change log of improvement in the system stability but there is one serious security issue that oneplus has fixed in this new update which i found later after creating the oxonus 12 c04 video that i will going to tell you next so today in this video along with that security bug we will discuss the performance small gaming fps stability test battery backup and the one bug that oneplus still not fixed at the end of this video so stay with me till the end now without further ado Let's get started. On the new adventure. On the new adventure. I downloaded the update and flashed it. Update process is very quick because of the small update size. Now let's check it out the about phone section. What has been changed here? If you tap on the OnePlus icon at the top of the display, now it's showing we are on the official Oxonus 12.1 C05 version now. If you check the Android version tab, it's showing this is the same Oxonus 12 with the same Julia security patch. Version tab showing it's the build number as the C05 now. Except this, all the things are same. Now let's see what is that major security bug I found in the old C04 version. If you enable the fingerprint login on any supported banking application and when you open it and tap cancel, system will show you the fingerprint recognize and bypasses the security. Then it gives directly access to the application without the authentication of user password login. I think OnePlus found this serious issue and immediately released this small update to fix this. Now let's check it out is this bug fixed in this new update or not. So I opened my access banking application and tap on the login. Then tap on the cancel for the fingerprint login. Now system shown it is not recognized and if you still tap on the cancel then we need to login into the account using the password. So my recommendation is to immediately update to the Oxonus 12 C05 build to fix this serious bug. Now let's compare the performance of this new update with the old C04. I think there will be no much difference as the whole base is same as the old build for this new C05 build. When I ran the Geekbench test, I got the score of 780 for the single core and 3187 for the multi core. Last time on C04, we got the score of 802 and 3116 for the multi core respectively. So it's almost closer to the both the results. Now let's enable the performance mode and test the Geekbench. For the single core, I got 1054 and for multi core, I got 3058. If you see the last time result, there we got the 1085 and 3027. Here again results are same. Let's see the GPU performance on the OpenGL API. Here I seen the results of 4745 while on the last build we seen it's the 4694. Some small differences here which is negligible. For the Vulkan graphics we got the score of 5560 while for the last C04 we got the score of 5561. This is almost same results so it's confirmed that the performance of the both the updates for the CPU and the GPU is almost same. Let's see the gaming performance of the new update as I am not the gamer I just tested the one BGMI game with the HDR graphics and the extreme FPS. In the OnePlus game space setting I kept the performance on the pro gamer mode, set the touch optimization at the highest level and enabled the system status on to keep the watch on FPS. So overall gaming experience is same for the both the updates. FPS will be seen lower at the starting of the game but later while playing actual gameplay it will be stabilized between 56 to 60 Hz constantly. I am trying to enable the 90 Hz FPS as soon as I get it successful. I will create this new video as a part of mod series. So overall gaming is very pleasant on this powerful device. What about the battery life? I have screenshot of my two battery cycles which are done for the Oxonus 12 C04 as the whole base is same for the C05. So we'll assume the results may be similar for the both the builds. In this first battery cycle, I got the overall standby of 22 hours and the suit is almost 6 hours. This is my primary device. I am not using it for the gaming but for watching videos, surfing, chatting, calling and some occasional gaming. So you can see in the app users, YouTube is at the top of the list along with the Chrome, WhatsApp and Telegram and some calling. I kept the Wi-Fi hotspot on all the day because I am using this device as a hotspot hub for my other devices. 
Bluetooth kept off, GPS on whole the day and always on display kept off whole the time. In the next battery cycle, I charged the device to the 94% and I got the 19 hour of standby with the 4.5 hour of SOT. Here the results are low as this cycle tested immediately after flashing the update and the topmost battery training application is the Google Framework Services. Except this all app usage is found same as the second battery cycle. But remember if you use the camera, video calling, gaming a lot then your stats goes down to the 40% of these results. But thanks to the wrap charging is still far charging the device to the 100% within 25 minutes. Now let's check out the one bug in the old C04 change lock it mentioned as a fix but it's still not working. I mistakenly shown it fixed in the last video but one of our subscriber got this notice to me thanks to him. As per the last change log, they mentioned the Ata Steady mode has been fixed for the 4K videos but when you try to shoot the 4K videos in Ata Steady mode, video resolution changes to the 180p means we can't able to shoot the Ata Steady videos in the 4K resolution. So this is all about the new update of C05, hope you guys like my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.